and there we go. So I dipped the corner of the sponge, just the corner in it, and on this right now I've got a little bit of the metallic white mixed with a little pink <clears throat> so that the pink will have a little sparkle. There is a metallic rose Wolf Brothers color, but I don't have it right now, but it is really nice. So I'm going to sponge like a little bit of area up here, and I'm just going to do a design that comes around my cheek and everything like that, just to show you like a simple little design. So I'm just giving like a little bit of background color right now. I'm going to do a little dark in here to kind of mimic a regular makeup type thing. Keep the lid light. That's always a good the metallic to get that highlight a little bit brighter. Right there. And then right on your lid. So that gives you like a little pretty makeup design already. And so then you've got a base to start with for you to put a few things on and it's a little shimmery so that you know you have a pretty design. So I'm going to take the white brush that I've loaded and I'm going to tip the brush with blue so that I can do some flowers here that are going to be blue and white. So I'm going to start down here, make teardrops going out so the inside of the flower is blue and the outside of the flower is white. And as you do more of these, you'll get used to practicing the teardrops and all that stuff, but you might have to get the tip blue again as you go. So I'm going to do a few more of these right here. Just kind of sets of threes always work very well because a lot of times trying to get something even is not that easy. So you notice I do five petals three flowers, you know, and things like that. So I'm also going to now see it's getting dry. So I'm going to go ahead and re-dip in the white back and forth or circle around. I like the back and forth. It doesn't mess up the cake as much. And then get just the tip. So I'm going to get more of the tip. Make a few more of these little flowers. here, smaller ones, medium sized ones. Again, if you try to make everything exactly the same size and even, it gets a little harder to do to make everything perfect, especially when you've got people that move and, you know, different shaped faces and stuff like that. So, okay, so here's my little flowers that I'm going to start with. Now I'm going to put just a little bit of the green, very light green and dark green mixed together, and I'm going to kind of just put a few little things around just to kind of give it the look of a flower. You know, little leaves, little swirls and stuff. Just to kind of make sure that everybody knows that these are flowers. You know, just a little few swirls. Okay? And then the only other thing I would do on these little guys is take just a tiny amount of yellow. Tiny, tiny. And just hit the middles, well, more yellow than that, I suppose. Hit the middles with just a little bit of the yellow. And I have my yellow mixed with gold on my palette, so it kind of gives a little bit of sparkle. Not quite enough. It's not wet enough is what the problem is, so you have to just dip it more. So a little dot there, a little dot there, dot. And again, this is something you can top off with glitter. I have the Liquid Bling Gold Glitter. This is something that on when I'm painting on the street or at a party, I would dip the middles with the glitter to kind of give that a little pretty effect for the girls at parties. So then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Metallic White, the Wolf Brothers Metallic White, which I like using. Again, it's got that shine and everything in it. And then I'm going to tip it in purple. And I'm going to make two butterflies, three teardrops up, like that, I don't know if you saw all that, three teardrops up, two teardrops down, or three, depends on what you want, go up, those aren't very good teardrops, sometimes that happens, alright, now this side I'm going to put one, <laughs> that was 
Okay. One there, one there, one there. Go down. The other two. Three. That's fine. Alright, now that's just like the base body shape. Easier to do for me the teardrops this way instead of doing up. Some people plop down. I like doing them from the thick to the thin and I spin the brush as I do it to get that teardrop shape to be thinner at the end. Thick to thin. That's how I like it. Everybody's got a different theory on that. So now I'm going to outline my butterflies in purple because I like purple. Wolf purple. So I'm going to take and do a dot for the body, a little line for, well that's the head, that's the body. And I'm going to go up and come little curved lines there for the body of the butterfly. And then I'm going to do circle down and a couple curved in for the bottom of the butterfly. This butterfly doesn't have um, antenna yet so I'm going to curl them some antennas right there. So. And you can come down with your stripes more if you want to, or you can just leave them like that. As long as you get the butterfly shape, then I don't think anybody's going to not know what they are. Okay, so do this so you can see. And then curve down. And then this one, swirl and curve up, like that. And there's all kinds of different ways to do butterflies. A lot of people have different ideas about doing butterflies. Um, teardrop butterflies, or you could do a heart-shaped butterfly and do a heart here and a little heart there, and then you could outline that. So uh, I'm going to get this little guy some antennas. Accidentally washed my brush off. I'm going to give him a bigger head so that everybody knows that that's a butterfly there. Okay, so that's kind of like a simple little design. Yes, there's two butterflies, which I told you to do things, and if you wanted to, you could have another one down here. If you wanted a more full face design, you could have the flowers extend over here, and, you know, maybe five flowers extend over here. The only other thing that I might add to this, like I said, the glitter. And again, this is a design not using black so that this is, you know, easier for little girls so that it's not um, hard to come off later. I would do some swirls with the, um, the green to kind of give it that flower, hmm. flowery type looking. Anyway, maybe take a couple of these, swirl them out just in kind of swirls. And then if you really wanted to, you could add whatever color, like dots to the butterfly or lines or any of that kind of stuff. You could do, you know, you can embellish it as long as the person's sitting there and sitting still, you know, why not? And don't forget, you can always do little rows of dots to kind of make things look a little nicer. You can always do some dots here. That always kind of brings things out. You could always put a white line that goes up, you know, dots, different things like that. And that's really kind of how I would leave it, except for the liquid blink, which I love. So I just squeeze it out and put a little dot there, 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 center of the flowers. And then I have purple liquid wing too, which is always very cool. So I just I shake it because it's half gone, so I click it to the bottom. And then most of the time I try to do, when I'm doing little girls on the street and stuff, I try to get the butterfly glittery so that it's a little body there. It's glitter and it's little, you know, things. And then you could always add, you know, you could cover these dots with glitter if you wanted to. And there you go.